Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today's video is a haul, a grocery haul. I am about to <clears throat> go down to Coles and pick up our click and collect order and then I'm going to come back home. I don't know, I just keep dissociating or something. Uh, <laughs> welcome to your relatable mum. I have had a traumatic day, okay, with my three kids. I feel like I say that all the time. I'll come home and I'll do the haul for you. Hopefully it won't be too hectic, but you know, everyone's home. Enjoy the video and I'll see you later in the haul. I am back home. I have actually <laughs> come into the spare room. We call it mum's room, but anyway, it's the spare room. Decided to, because all the kids are asleep. So Ashton fell asleep while I was out getting the groceries. It is now about five o'clock or something. Whatever, okay. Been having quite a lot of trouble with him and he is refusing to nap at home. He'll nap at daycare, but he's not napping here. So he didn't nap today. So yeah, twinnies are having another little sleep. They just had a bottle. So I thought I would just come in here because the storm has really cooled the place down. I've got all the groceries on the bed and there are some cold things. So we're gonna get right into the haul. Okay, so um, I guess we'll go from left to right and I'm gonna have to look on my phone for the prices because when you do click and collect they don't give you a physical receipt so the babies are obsessed with blackberries right now ashton's not a huge fan mum likes them i'm not a huge fan but ollie and fletchy absolutely go bonkers bonkers for blackberries so the blackberries they're not on special anymore which sucks they're four dollars fifty so anyway i just got one of them because we are out I got two bananas because they haven't really been eating too many bananas, but sometimes at night they kind of don't feel like they're dinner and then they might eat a banana. So got a couple just for the weekend. Some green beans, about 250 grams of beans cost us a dollar and 38. Oh, sorry. The bananas came to a dollar 62. Beans, a dollar 38. Jazz apples, which are here. I didn't take them out of the bag, but I got four of them and they are $6.50 per kilo, so it was $4.16 worth of apples for once again. Jazz apples are what Lee likes to take to work, so that's what he's getting. Uh, Kent pumpkin cut, $4.90 per kilo. That's nearly a kilo, so it's $4.41 for that piece of pumpkin. Spinach, I am doing spinach and ricotta cannelloni for dinner one night this week, this coming next week. I've got spinach sometimes i use frozen spinach but i found that it's actually quite nice with fresh spinach so and the babies were just loving it last time so get some good iron up yeah three dollars for 120 grams of spinach i got some watermelon or as ashton calls it for some unknown reason banana <laughs> i don't know if it's his way of trying to say melon or what but anyway Watermelon because I figure that will be a nice weekend treat for him and hopefully get him off the junk a little bit He's asking for cake at 7 30 in the morning That's our newest one. So anyway, the watermelon came to four dollars forty. It's two dollars thirty per kilo. So a couple of kilos and Also that I didn't take out of the bag because I just don't want crap everywhere. I got four corn cobs and we're going to be having them tomorrow night with chicken palmies when Lee's Bestie is here and I'll just be cutting them in half so that everyone gets some corn. So that's the produce. So I usually don't really get anything sort of snacky or special for myself, but I got myself this Wicked Sister rice pudding because I looked it up just to see if they had any and it was on special for... Must have been $2.40. Two of them is $4.80. So I was pretty happy with that. Because like I said, I don't really get anything. We never really get snacky things anymore. Because we just can't afford it. But I just thought, you know what? Treat yourself. Sour cream, just Coles brand. That was $3.25. That is for the nachos that we're going to be having. Ricotta. I got the Coles brand ricotta. I got two of them. 
they came to $7.20 together. Then I got a handful of like yogurts and a couple of custards. So I got three blueberry yogurts, $2.25, three strawberry yogurts, $2.25, and three vanilla yogurts for $2.25. And we got substituted because they didn't have the home brand, the Coles brand strawberry yogurts. We got the Petite Miam, which are about $1.10 at the moment, I think but we usually just get the home brand coals because they're 75 cents yeah they charge you at the lowest price if they substitute uh, we got two western star butters they're the 500 grams so 14 dollars for those two because they're seven dollars each i managed to find um devondale on special last week and this devondale here was on special too so i'll get that but there was no real specials on butter so i just got the one that we usually get because we don't eat margarine, we eat butter. Devondale unsalted butter, that's for any cooking that I'm gonna do, slices or cakes or like, like you know, fruit muffins and stuff like that for the babies, just to keep the salt content down. So that Devondale unsalted butter was on special for $4. Vanilla yogurt here, the Yoplait, uh, six, it's six little pots of 160 grams for $6.50. So Lee usually takes the classic one, which has the mango and I don't know, something else in it. But he just wanted vanilla this time, so I got that. Custards, I just got three custards and it came to $5.70. I think they're on special for like $1.90 or something at the moment. So from the deli, I got some, just excuse that, that's a little, oh, ain't that sweet some bacon about 260 grams for $4.63 meat that we got is the regular mint one kilo for $11 because that's kind of like the best value and that'll be used for nachos and then also something else like possibly rissoles or spaghetti bolognese like I'll use 500 grams per meal and then this pack of chicken schnitties are uh, for the for the chicken palmies so they're twelve dollars fifty and it's like a 12 pack the eggs were five dollars sixty so just a 12 pack there lee's been taking eggs for um work lunches and i will do some curried eggs and eat them on biscuits for lunches and the babies and ashton will have an egg sandwich or whatever ashton just likes eating the curried egg as is so i actually got some of these little <laughs> festive bickies because I was going through the Christmas section because you know when you do a click and collect you're just kind of like online and you know you can just have a look at everything without kind of rushing through the shop like a headless chook. Yeah these are festive chocolate dipped biscuits they're little um, gingerbread shaped men they're not actual gingerbread biscuits they're just biscuits with chocolate but anyway I just figured Ashton might like those. I got like some really nice Christmas tree shaped biscuits from Aldi really cheap the other day and I really really liked them so I definitely want to go back to Aldi over the next week and just get a few things like that that we might like while we're camping. But anyway these were $4.80 I know um, a bit of a spend but that's actually on special from $5 something I think. $4.80 on special so I thought okay something for Ashton to have. Oh sorry I also got an avocado uh, for the nachos. The avocados are on special for $1.20 at the moment. And the other things for the nachos are these cheesy triangles, Mission Tortilla Triangles. They're $4 for the pack. I got black beans. I got the Annalisa brand because they're the cheapest. Then $1.90, whereas like the old El Paso beans, tin of beans is like $4.50. Like what the heck? Just because it's old El Paso. Like, come on. Anyway, but I did get old El Paso nacho spice mix. Unfortunately, that was not on special this week. It was on special last week and I made the nachos last week and then we were like, oh, we want nachos again. But uh, yeah, unfortunately this week it's $3 for that spice mix. But anyway, the cannelloni tubes are $3. And we got some tin tomatoes. The reason why I've got quite a few is because if we do bolognese, I'll use it in that. I use a tin, so I use one tin in bolognese, I use one tin in the tomato paste slash diced tomatoes sauce for the chicken palmies, and then I use two tins for the cannelloni. So I kind of, yeah, needed those, those four. 
and I got two packs of Marie biscuits because I'm making some Christmas balls, some apricot balls for Christmas and to give to the educators at Ashton's daycare. They were two for $4, so I just got two. I probably only needed one pack, but the babies eat these as well as a little snack, so it's not like they're gonna be wasted or anything like that. I got four of these little bellies. Um, is that what they're called? Yeah, little bellies uh, fruit sachet, $2 each. So I just got four of them because the babies like to eat them. I did order a bread, but they didn't have the bread and where we've got a bit of bread, so I didn't bother about that. The nappies, I've been getting this box of 64 because it's about three cents cheaper per nappy to get this because you can get the 32 pack for $16. So if you get two 32 packs, you're paying $32 but if you get this it's 30 so you're saving two dollars by getting this box instead of getting two packs of nappies and I would usually get two packs of nappies at a time because we go through nappies like there's no tomorrow we have three boys in nappies so just imagine how much shit I'm wading through each day so that was $30 <laughs> cub wipes I got three packs and they came to $8.40 because they're $2.80 per pack. I probably didn't need to buy this many right now, but I just thought, get it out of the way. Nest Quick here, I decided to get it. We probably don't need it just yet, but I decided to get it because it was on special for $5.50 and I put some, sometimes I drink it at nighttime as a snack before bed with milk um, and then some mornings and evenings Ashton will have Choppy milk, we call it, so that's what we have. It was $5.50. Alfoil, 60 meters. Haven't bought alfoil for a long, long, long time. And this was $7. I just, we needed it. We were out, so, and that's the one that I trust and I like, so I got it. And yeah, I think the last thing is these bad boys over here. Sorry, any males that are watching, but anyway, I like, I don't know, I started using maternity pads like after I had Ashton, um, obviously for like postpartum, you know, but <laughs> I bloody love these. Like these are like my favorite pads in the world and I can't use just anything because, unfortunately, because my skin is very, very sensitive and all sorts of things happen. So I get these. Anyway, they are on special at the moment. $3.50 each because I got four packs for $14 but I just figured you know what while they're cheap because usually they're like five or five dollars fifty so while they're cheap I'll just stock up because I just keep them in the cupboard and then you know each month there you go <laughs> so that was my little personal item but yeah that's basically our haul guys it came to 203.26 so yes Unfortunately, not a whole heap of groceries, over $200. It was actually more than that, but online at the moment, if you use the code FESTIVE, you get, well, I got $15 off, but I think if you hit $250, you get like more off, like $25 off. And then like, if it's more than that, you get 50 off maybe. So have a look at that guys. If anyone's doing a click and collect for Coles, have a look on their website. They, they give you the code. It's festive. You just type it in at the checkout and yeah, you get some money off. So I got $15 off today because I spent $75 or more, but I didn't spend $250. So I only got the $15 off, but that's fine. A saving is a saving and I was quite happy with that that's today's video I hope that you enjoyed I hope it wasn't too boring and I'm kind of always on the lookout now um, ever since getting like a couple of random comments I know that so many people have said like don't worry about it and thank you for that like I'm not up at night crying about it by any means um, too busy for that <laughs> uh, but I just yeah I don't know like I know that you know, I have talked about being broke and how broke we are. And then I've spent $200 at Coles Click and Collect instead of going to like Aldi and the fresh food market and the discount meat and that sort of thing. But at the moment, mental health is not 
dealing with three under three, it's 10 days before Christmas. There's a lot of different elements, guys. It's just, sometimes it's the convenience and not having to get in the car and get three kids in and out of the car, at like three different shops and things like that. And like I said, we've got a visitor coming for the weekend and we don't really wanna be doing groceries over the weekend, which is why I sorted it for today. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and if there are any videos that you would like to see that I'm currently not doing, just let me know. May or may not happen, but I'm willing to take on the feedback. Anyway, have a great weekend and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.